महा गणपत मनसा स्मरा महादेव मुद शिसा नमा महा गणपत मनसा स्मरा I wish I had done it. Everybody has a regret, a guilt, born of omission. I wish. i had not done this i wish i had joined the medical college when there was an offer i wish i didn't turn down that job <laughs> instead of taking this job i wish i had taken up that job correct i wish i got married in time <laughs> at that time i was foolish i wish i remained single there is another <laughs> i wish i was born half an hour earlier why because my lagna would have changed the ascendant would have changed then what then whole thing would be wonderful that's what astrologer told me <laughs> If it was so wonderful you, we won't have you you know it is nice to have you as you are Half an hour before you were born, you won't be available for me. You would be somewhere. <laughs> We can always talk, if and but. People have this kind of omissions. Previous life, Papa also we want to address. <laughs> <laughs> Local is not enough. <laughs> so this is. omissions lot of omissions i wish i had done this i had not done it sad then commission why did i do this <laughs> I can't forgive myself. I should have done this. This was a blatant mistake. I keep on doing the same mistake. Why? Why did I ever do it? I should not have done this. Why? Correct. Right? This is the problem of commission. like this you have a series of karmas and therefore you have as a child as a young man and woman series of commissions leave you guilty understand what is guilt makes me ashamed there is a shame and i have 
in lot of omissions, a lot of omissions, a lot of commissions. Makes me regret, makes me guilty. This is unwept sadness, unacceptable, myself not acceptable to me. How can you accept yourself being guilty? This guilt is there whenever I remember myself. <laughs> when I am conscious of myself, guilt also is there in that self. Therefore, I have to forget myself along with guilt. Then there is some kind of a happiness. Then I remember myself. Oh, finish. Therefore, you don't require a mother-in-law to make you unhappy. <laughs> you require only yourself, your own commissions and omissions make you sad. Correct? And then, you have other submissions and commissions. Because you are always born, even though the cord was snapped when you were born, but the connection is still there, the cord is still there. That's why the mobile phone, <laughs> the cord is still there. <laughs> it's a commercial also, there's an advertisement. You are always connected. That means you are ever a child. And the fellow tied and all that, he's sitting there with Raymond's suit. And still connected. And the mother still is, is manipulating the fellow emotionally, blackmailing him. <laughs> And you are listening to your wife. I brought you up. I do you know how many days I might have? I had fasted for you. How about what kind of difficulties I have gone through? And you are listening to this girl who came in before yesterday. You are listening to her. What does she know? This is emotional blackmail. <laughs> Because she wants to control him, she feels she has lost him. Why she feels lost him? Because he, she, he is talking to her. It's a problem. After marriage also he should not talk to her. Take permission from mom, then only talk to her. Huh? This idiot listens also. <laughs> It's a mother's problem. He listens because he has not grown. This still card is there. People don't grow, they may be 90s, I tell you. They're still children. People have to grow out of this emotional black bile. Each one has to be an adult. You make decisions. Take care of your mother. Mother has got her own problems. She has her own insecurity. Therefore she manipulates. That is her problem. So I understand that objectively, that it's a, it's a, it's intelligent living. Not that you should throw her out. But you must appreciate the whole thing. Sometimes we have to keep these people separate. <laughs> ah. <laughs> because both are incapable of handling. You can't change people. You can only give them space in between. <laughs> it's important. This is by the way, I'm just telling you. And therefore, these other omissions and commissions, 
from babyhood onwards prenatally also whatever that his mother did not care affects you prenatally basically and then after birth there is hurt we will address all that later there is hurt as a baby but that is all there in the unconscious most of those people business people who are sadhus have this unconscious hurt I, I don't say all, okay? <laughs> This unconscious hurt. That's why they became sadhus. What drives you to become a sadhu? Good samskara and the hurt. Good samskara can can keep you also as a grahastha. But good samskara plus heavy unconscious can make you. Lack of good samskara and hurt can 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 make you anything. You can become you can become a person given to crime. You can become a person of politics. <laughs> it's all it's all the same. <laughs> Even though we want politicians, because we are ruled by them, it is wrong to be indifferent to that politics. You are ruled by these people. You have to take into account all those things. And they want to play. Therefore, what I say that the hurt of born of omissions, mothers' omissions, mothers' commissions, mother being not available. I will talk about all those omissions and commissions elaborately, and mothers' omissions and commissions. Fathers' omissions and commissions, other teachers' omissions and commissions, and you find afterwards also omissions and commissions. Why, why you did not do this? <laughs> Why you did this to me? Why my employers don't recognize me? We don't get. I am so honest, and I do my job so well. When the job is to be given, it is given to me. When the promotion is to be given, it is given to somebody else. Why? Why I deserve, I don't get it. Why somebody who doesn't deserve get it? This is another problem. <laughs> so the deserving me, I don't get, and the undeserving is getting this. Why? Hurt. How this person could this could do this to me? How could he not do this to me? It's a simple thing. He can remember my date of birth. It's one simple thing. He can call me over mobile. Happy birthday. But he won't. 
I have to call him and tell him and cry. This is my birthday. <laughs> So, um, everything taken for granted, nobody cares for me. You don't care. So, other submissions and commissions, leave me hurt. Correct? Now tell me, what is sadness? <laughs> My own omissions and commissions forming guilt. Others' omissions and commissions towards me. Towards me, towards my home, towards my community, towards my country. Correct? It's all me. Different radius, the circles of different radius. It's all me. And even Jupiter Shukra, Jupiter, Guru, Shukra, Buddha, Shavai, Mars, all of them are conspiring against me. Why me? Why my country? So all this, why my prayers are going waste? Does the prayer have result, any result, Swamiji? I don't believe in this prayer, especially this japa. I don't like this japa. This japa and all that people do is useless, it is. Hey, come on, why do you say that? Swamiji, I got married ten years ago. I came to this house as daughter-in-law. And this woman, you know who is that woman? <laughs> and this woman is doing this japa. I've been seeing this regularly for the past ten years. The beads have become vada vada. <laughs> The beads have become soft and she continues to be as cantankerous, if not more, as I saw her on the tenth day of my marriage. This has not done any good to her. How can he say so? At least at the time of doing japa, you were spared. Correct? <laughs> she says, no, Swamiji. Even while doing japa, she will stop and tell me. <laughs> there is no result for all this. I told her, suppose she was not doing the japa. <laughs> Can you imagine? how she would be. <laughs> eh? Really speaking, it is that japa still keeps you at home. You are married going. Otherwise, she would have manipulated your husband so much you won't stay in this marriage. It is the Japa. 
never tell me Japa doesn't produce itself. <laughs> Yes, it is so. She has her issues. Therefore, other submissions and commissions leave me hurt. My own omissions and commissions leave me guilty. Guilt and hurt constitute sadness, self-unacceptability. When the self is unacceptable, because to accept the self is to put up with guilt and shame and hurt. How will you put up? That makes you more hurt. Then you will come up and say, I can't put up any more Swamiji. <laughs> there is a breaking point. There is always the heaviest another ounce. For the Olympic champion, you know, there is always a heaviest ounce, I say. That is the heaviest ounce. Which one? You put one more ounce, the fellow will go down. If he can handle one more ounce, that will be the record. Every ounce counts after some time. Understand that? There is always a breaking point. There is a threshold of tolerance. But that's not living. Putting up with is not living. And therefore, this guilt and hurt as long as they are there, centered on the self. Sadness and sorrow, sadness which is sorrow, is not shoka, which is shoka, is not avoidable and the self is not acceptable. Correct? You can't say, hey, so you are sad, but accept yourself. Hey, if I accept myself, I won't be sad. <laughs> Correct? If I accept myself, I won't be sad. If I am sad, I am not putting up with sadness. I have to put up with the sad that is me. I am the one who is to put up with me. How can I put up with me when I am sad? Sadness is not an object. That is how people talk. All these spiritual people talk also like that. <laughs> all these spiritual people should be all pounded. <laughs> in one compound <laughs> and they kept away from the society. They should, they should be pounded. They need treatment. They should be institutionalized. Because they create more crazy people. It's not they confine themselves to their own craziness. <laughs> they spread the craziness around. <laughs> Confirm the craziness. They address sadness. The problem is, I am sad. Correct? I am sad. That's 
and the sad eye is the guilty one, the hurt one. And therefore, <laughs> by changing, changing my clothes, by wearing Raymond suit, I don't become a complete person to accept myself. <laughs> So the sadness is centered on I. I am not acceptable, therefore I go and have a new haircut, a new hairdo. The I am sad is I am not acceptable, therefore I change my eyebrows, I pluck the eyebrows, I get them plucked by paying a lot of money. And then I use charcoal. <laughs> like a person from Mars. <laughs> Funny. People do all that. Look at this. The problem is elsewhere. I keep on doing something else somewhere. <laughs> is about that? Whole thing looks to me so funny, and then they say, "Swamiji, you are funny. I am not." <laughs> <laughs> what is all this? <laughs> so, it's good time for lunch, okay? <laughs>